Hello everyone, this is Bob. Welcome to the Bob the Engineer channel. Today I want to share a cartoon video to show how the e-beam evaporator works. This is a very short video, but it showed the essential of the e-beam evaporator and the top the principle very well. So I'd like to share with you. So now let's begin. An electron beam evaporator, a type of physical vapor deposition tool, is used to coat one side of a sample with various metals. Commonly used metals on this machine include aluminum, platinum, gold, chrome, nickel, copper. Once a sample has been loaded, the chamber will be closed. The chamber is then pumped down to a... So here it showed how the e-beam. So over here you have a crucible holding the source material have a different metal, aluminum, copper, platinum, gold, etc. And here you have uh, the quartz crystal. This is monitor the film thickness. You have a shutter and you can open and close. Your substrate is loaded on the holder on the top. And then the evaporation started going up, condensed film on the substrate. Let's continue the video. With very low pressure. The machine then releases electricity through a filament. Several magnets are used to direct the electron beam from the filament to a crucible containing the target metal. The metal then heats up and begins to evaporate onto the shutter. This process can take several minutes. So here showed the e-beam when you have electrical current and go through the filament, become the electron beam guided by the magnetic field hitting the source material and the source material over the, under the heat and become vapor and condensed going up under the substrate become the film. This is similar to a pot of boiling water on a hot stove. A sensor within the chamber is used to determine the current rate of evaporation. Once the desired rate is reached, the shutter is open and the sample is exposed to the evaporating metal. The desired rate of evaporation and the amount of metal to be evaporated can be set under the deposition controller. Once the desired amount of metal... So here, that's when the material that get evaporated, condensed on the substrate become the film. And once you reach the desired thickness you close the shutter and then you basically turn off the electric the electric current and then turn off the e-beam so the process is finished and then you open the chamber after you cool down you open the chamber and take the substrate out you finish the evaporating process well has been evaporated shutter is closed the pressure inside the chamber is then increased to atmospheric pressure, and the chamber is opened. So here, that's a, that's a video. I hope you like it. You enjoy it like me. And uh, please stay tuned. Subscribe to this channel, and we will see you in the next video.